Hello fellow accountants, welcome to learning at igcseaccounts.com. Please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com. If you go to the notes section you'll find the notes that go along with this tutorial and the easiest way to follow the tutorial is to right click over the button that says notes click here and download it onto your desktop which should be much quicker than waiting for it to load up on your web browser. My name is Dino Hoss and today we will be looking at the accounting principles. So what are the accounting principles? Basically they are the assumptions that all accountants need to follow to make sure that the final accounts that they draw up are easy to understand. So who might be interested in the final accounts? Well the first group of course will be the bankers or the banks who will need to decide on whether to lend the company money to expand their existing business or even to start the company. The second set would be the investors and their interest in the final accounts is based on whether they think it would be a good idea for them to buy shares in the business or to invest their money into the company. Without a clear set of accounts of course it would be very very difficult for them to decide on whether the investment was a good one. The owners of the company or the existing shareholders will also need to know how much profit they have made by operating the company through the financial year. The final group that would be interested in the final accounts of the business would of course be the tax department which will need to be able to see a clear set of accounts in order to be able to calculate the amount of tax that's owed to the government. The accountants will need to construct a set of final accounts. The income statement which tells the users of the accounting information whether the business has made a profit or a loss during the financial year. And the other final account they need to put together is the balance sheet which looks at what the company owns such as land and buildings and where the money came from to pay for those assets. The four principles that all accountants need to follow are number one, relevance, which basically suggests that if a transaction or occurrence or something that happens in the business affects whether the company makes a profit or a loss, it is therefore relevant and should be recorded by the accountant. The second principle is reliability. The reliability principle suggests and ensures that the accountants construct the final accounts which are free from errors. In other words, it's the accountant's job to check that there are no mistakes in the income statement and the balance sheet. Also, as an accountant, you are not allowed to be biased. So in other words, you can't, if you don't like your company, for example, make the accounts worse than they actually are and similarly if you're asked to as an accountant to overstate or make the accounts look better than they actually are then you would be breaking the accounting rule of reliability. Finally the principle of reliability also suggests that all accounts that are constructed by the accountant need to be verified or checked by an accounting firm outside the company. In most countries the government will also um, require you as a business to have your accounts checked by another accounting company to make sure that they are correct. Uh, they have no errors in them and they are free from bias. Then the government will use those accounts to work out how much tax the firm needs to pay um, during or at the end of the financial year. The third accounting principle that all accountants should follow is the principle of comparability. Now providing the accountants have 
put together the final accounts using the principles of relevance, reliability and understandability, then it should be easy for the accounting users to compare the performance of the business from one year to the next. This is especially important for managers who might want to look at the performance of the firm and compare it with the performance in previous years. The principles ensure that all the accounts are prepared in the same way and so it becomes easier for them to be able to make comparisons to previous years. The fourth principle is the principle of understandability. Essentially that means that the final accounts, the income statement or the trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet must be put together in a way that is understood by all the users of the report. So in other words, a banker, an investor or an owner, as well as the government tax authority or department, will have to be able to look at the business's final accounts, understand them in order to be able to make decisions. Thanks for listening. Remember, if you found this tutorial useful, then do wait around for the next video to load up. Please can I also point you towards our sister website, A-Level Accounts, which you can find at www.alevelaccounts.weebly.com. Remember, you can also download handouts, play games and view past papers and answers at www.rgcseaccounts.com.